For All To See was one of the first songs we had for the album. That was pretty much done like around about the time that we were writing for ERA and we just finished it off and I loved that song. That was always one of my favourites and I think the rest of the band hate it but uh, I'm going to fight to play that one live for sure. For All To See I think just sounds like a straight up Blade From Within song. If I'm being completely honest, it's not a song that I was majorly excited about when we were demoing the album. Not because I don't like the song, I love the song, but I just feel like I get more excited by the songs where we sort of push ourselves to step outside of our comfort zone. Songs like Fracture, songs like Ruina from Era. It's funny though because now the album is released, I've noticed quite a lot of people commenting saying that For All To See is their favourite song. For All To See was actually one of the first songs we wrote for the album, probably a couple of years ago now. Kind of like Into Nothing, it's got a kind of simple groove at the start. Actually, a kind of quiet section in the middle of the song that I think Stephen wrote, but I thought it'd be a good kind of space for like a little kind of bass melody thing as well. For All To See is a song that we wrote, we kind of left on the back burner for a long time because it was like, right, we've got these other ideas coming in, we know that song's there, we know it's good, we want it to be on the album. This is uh, this is classic Bleed From Within, again, this is kind of triplet feel, something that we've played around with a lot in the past, songs like Leech and Cast Down, all songs that have that kind of triplet gallop. It's just undeniably metal, which is why we love it, and it always translates well to a live environment. For all to see, there's actually a lot going on in the background here. Uh, a lot of intricate guitar parts, and especially with the drums. I remember, because we've done this kind of feel before, like I was saying, there's, there's always a lot of, I feel like a bit of pressure to try and make it quite different from anything we've done in the past, so there's always a lot of new fills put in. I'm trying to experiment more with cymbal placements and tom fills and stuff like that, so. Aye, this is quite an interesting song um, if you actually sit and listen to what's going on in the background. Again, this is another song that I just love Candy's vocal performance in the chorus. It just kind of changed, um, it changed my perception of the song as a whole. Um, I think that's, it was really powerful. I love that we stuck to the kind of just straight chords as it kicks in. Um, aye, big song. It's in that kind of triplet feel tempo that we're quite comfortable in now. and. I've got a few songs in that feel like Cast Down, Leech, Gatekeeper. So it was just exploring that tempo a bit more and seeing what we could do with it. And the breakdown of this song just came out of nowhere. I think I was trying to make Ali's life as difficult as possible. <laughs> This song, I had like these lyrics and the notes on my phone for a while that were inspired by the Australia fires, which was, we see maps of distress as the fires continue to spread, awaken the crimson light for all to see. Then that sort of just evolved, sort of touched on how social media comes into play in a situation like that and how the whole world can unite and stand together. I like the meaning behind for all to see. I like the idea that, you know, we go on social media and we, put our entire lives on this blog essentially that's going to live online forever for people to see and a lot of people go about it very very shamelessly very impulsively before the internet everybody had an opinion but not everybody's opinion mattered now with the internet you know people can say anything and get any number of people to believe what they're saying and it's a very powerful tool but I think it's important that we use it responsibly and that we take account for our actions and that we are held accountable for the things that we say and the things that we do online.